Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to give you a Traxxas slash upgrade upgrade update. And I am gonna show you guys. I'm gonna tell you guys what I've done to my slash to upgrade it. And if you guys wanna know what upgrades I got, put a link in the description down below to all of the upgrades I have done to my slash. Now let's get into it. Alright, so originally when I first bought the slash, it was an XL5 model we can see it's changed now. This is VXL and you can see I got the Valenian motor. I'll have a link to the eBay link I actually got it from. Because I paid about 150 bucks for the ESC and the uh, motor. None of these screws were included, by the way. You have to use your own screws. Which, don't matter because the ones that came with the XL5 work perfectly fine. So, but the only upgrades we've actually done pretty... Not really upgrades like with suspension and crap. But we've done upgrades with... Like, the gears. I'm not going to take off the gear cover, but it has a 76 tooth 48 pitch hot racing metal spur gear. And it also has a 23 tooth 48 pitch hot racing uh, pinion gear. Because my uh, slash original gear I had, it, it like got destroyed. So I think they're both steel. I'm not sure. Another upgrade I have to my VXL was the coolant van, the Valenian coolant van. Have that on here. Here's another upgrade I have the BF Goodrich replica kind of tires. The mud terrains, that's the tread pattern. Um, with the chrome kind of like wheel. It used to have, hold on, wait, I actually have them. I actually have the original. Tires. I think I all of them. Uh, we're gonna. Fi I'm gonna finish them off this weekend. And uh, like, what I mean by finish them off? You can ice and dry soon. So, uh, here's my original slash tires. You can see how worn down the tread is. I've tried to re-glue them and it has failed. These are the tires I'm gonna like, probably get make drag tires, maybe. I don't know. For speed runs. You can tell which ones are on the rear. That's what the OEM tires look like. Then I upgrade them to a uh to this style of wheel and tire. Which personally I actually like the tread pattern way better. It's awesome for off roading now. It actually I mean it's not like an off roader slash. It's just a normal like slash two wheel drive. Be like if it's a VXL. Now, future plans I have for this, I do plan on getting the uh, TQI system installed, and I'll do a video on that. Possibly, if we get to 180, 190 subscribers, or my subscriber gain just goes up and my views go up, we will upgrade this to a TQI, which I probably still will, anyways. But I won't do it. I don't know, I'll release that video once I do get to the goal, like, 180, 190. This video is going to be, this, I am creating this on October 20th, but this probably will be uploaded the day after I make this video, actually. Because we just did a premiere of me driving my Slash. You guys are like, What's, where's your battery thing? It's in my body, the, the my RC car body, right here. Okay, let's put this back in. And you guys are probably asking what lipos am I running and what kind of battery charger I use. You're like, how are you using this? You're probably using the Traxxas. The uh, Traxxas lipo batteries that cost a lot of money. And actually, no, I don't. I use... I use the... Uh, I use the HOOVO. You can't see the H, obviously. The HOVO 5200 milliamp hour lipo. It's a two-cell. Oh yeah, this right here is also goes to, this came with my slash, it came with the Nickelman Hydrite battery charger for your, with your car, like the car adapter, and uh, crap, I got no room, and the uh, 7, I think 7 cell, 3000 milliamp hour Nickelman Hydrite 8.4 volt uh, battery here, which I'm not ever going to use, I'm going to give that to someone who's actually looking to buy a slash room. Or is getting a slash soon. And I will. Uh, excited for their content. 
the only issue I've actually had with the antenna is, look, this little, like, black cover protective piece came off. And if you ever do get a slash, look at these areas of tape. You don't have to go right, right here, but if you want to protect the stupid body hole things from, uh, getting, like, the, because when you put this on, it does put wear right here, and I found that out. So I put tape right here, the front, tape in the wheel. You always want to put tape in the wheel wells. It don't matter if you don't put it anywhere, but you gotta put it in the wheel wells. So look at all that tire spots. I can't speak. Tire stuff on there. Especially for the rear ones. And right here, too, where your, uh, your bars are on the slash right here. Where you want to duct tape all of it? Here, I'll put the body on for you guys. Now, this is really, really dusty right now. It just sucks. Oh, wait. Okay, there we go. There we go. So, here's what the slash looks like. I've owned it for about one month. So, what are my thoughts? My thoughts are I really do recommend this if you're starting into RCs. This is a very easy vehicle to work on. And so far I've had no issues. If you really Yeah, I've had issues with spur gears. I've broken three two or three spur gears in one pinion. Which pinion isn't really an issue. I don't know what happened. I think I just made my stuff too tight. The uh clutch, slipper clutch too tight. Um I've had no issues with the A arms, drive shafts. That's a lie. The drive shaft got bent out of place, so I just got a lighter and melted it back into place. And it's actually been fine ever since I've done that. I don't count that as an issue because I had a hard crash in the back where the drive shaft was. And I just melted it back into place. And I've had no issues with the drive shafts, technically. So, really, the drive shaft... I haven't run this on a 3S LiPo, by the way. It's only been on a 2S. That might change when I get a 3S LiPo. We'll see. It does have everything original, actually, besides the wheels and tires, obviously. Original bumper, original suspension, original A-arms on the front and rear, original chassis, original servo, original Nerf bars. Everything's original. This is only, like, I've only had this for like one and a half months. Like, everything's original on this car so far. But it's obviously not, you can't count the tires and the, uh, gears that are in the, diff, like, the... Transmission, you can't count that because I had to upgrade those. Yeah, I would say I really do recommend you getting this. Not that you don't have to get this exact body, you could get a wrestler two wheel drive, a slash two wheel drive, slash two wheel drive, a stampede two wheel drive, any of those two wheel drive tracks you like models, unless it's nitro, are really easy to maintain. It depends on how you drive your RC car, too. Like, I don't do the most insane stuff with my RC car. I do mainly on road, but I do go in the grass and I haven't been able to go in my creek yet and go to the creek and off road with this. But I'm pretty sure it'll off road good with these uh, tires, these new uh, tires I have. Um, everything's original, obviously, not the wheels and tires and the gears I have. That's the only thing that's. Not original. Everything else is all original in this car. I mean, I mean, obviously the body clips aren't. But I really recommend. I've had this for a month and a half. So I've had time to mess with it. If you get an XL5. And you want to upgrade it to the uh, VXL. you do. I'd click the link below. Because that's where you can get the cheapest I found. Cheapest I found. LiPo batteries for this. Ba I mean, not LiPo batteries. Uh, VXL systems, they're they say they're used, but they're really not used. They come off, they they're a takeoff item, so they take them off a brand new slash and just sell them on eBay. That's all they're from. My uh, slash has been working really good, no issues with drive tr like drive shafts, a arms, no issues with any of that. After having it for a month and a half, so technically it's been kind of maintenance free. I mean the tires burn off my fault. <laughs> the, the gears, I, see, I also feel like it's my fault from the, how I've, uh, not tuned it. it like, a top, it, gosh, I can't think of it. 
how I've adjusted the uh, stupid slipper clutch. I think I messed up on that. So really, if I didn't mess up on anything, this has been maintenance-free. No issues at all. I do mean, like, besides the drive shaft where I melted it back in place. It was my fault on that. I've had really no issues. I've driven this thing like crazy. I've driven the crap out of it. So yeah, guys, if you want to know what LiPo I have, I'll put a link to the similar one in the description. Cause I, this is actually currently sold out on Amazon. And if you want to know what LiPo charger I have, I'll put a link to that. Actually, let me get the LiPo charger. It's over here. Let me get it. Tam wants to put a lot, a lot of links. Here's my LiPo charger. It's the B6V3 smart charger. I'm not going to do a review on this. You uh, have to also buy these Traxxas plugs. If you're buying these Traxxas batteries with the Traxxas connectors on these batteries, you're going to have to buy this Traxxas uh, charger thing. This uh, charger right here does support 6S LiPos. It does support nickel and hydrates. Supports a lot of batteries, actually. I think this was a roughly 40 bucks, which is a lot for a charger for me. I mean, I'm, that's usual for a hobby-grade charger. I do have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which you, you actually can get right now. The size, they both have the same run time. I didn't really notice the difference. So I'll put a link to the B3 or the B6V3 smart charger, the 5,000 milliamp hour. And if I can find this link, I will put the 5,200 milliamp hour. And I'll put a link to this slash, the this exact model. Not the XL, obviously. It's going to be the XL5 because I had an XL5 originally in it. So, we will, um, uh, put the link to this, put the link to that, put the link to that, put the link to these wheels and tires, and if you're also upgrading your pinion, get Loctite, please get the blue Loctite, I guess I'll put a link for the blue Loctite too, down below, <laughs> gosh, it's so many links, so I'll put a link to these wheels and tires, battery charger, battery, and RC car, obviously, itself. And the the gear in, if you want to know the gear in, I'll put a link to those also down below. And yeah, if you guys would like to, like to know more information about the car, feel free to comment down below if your questions. Like, if you okay, I'm gonna answer this question. I'm gonna get asked this: How fast does it go with a 2S lipo with my ge current gear in with a 76 tooth 48 pitch with a with, with a spur also that's a or a pinion that's a. Uh, 23 tooth. This does go like 40, 45. I bet with a 3S LiPo, it probably would go 55, 60, 50 about. It'd probably go about that fast. And I recommend if you're also getting to skip body clips. It doesn't matter what kind of body clips you get. There's like tons of cheap ones, expensive ones are really the same. Um, So uh, yeah, after a month and a half owning this slash. No issues, really. Just don't do burnouts because you'll wear out your tires <laughs> pretty quickly. I mean, that's kind of obvious. So yeah, one and a half months after owning this, recommend it. So yeah, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and look at the, the link in the description for all of the upgrades and stuff down below. And goodbye, guys. See you in the next one.